Pisces, you shock someone, Knight of Wands energy coming in, your realness, your authenticity, Pisces, how comfortable you are within yourself. It's like you don't have anything within you, Pisces, not a bone within you that allows you to be fake or to pretend. It's like you'd rather walk away than stay in that situation. And someone is not used to this level of authenticity, to this level of rawness and realness within you. Knight of Wands coming in. Um, this is a free spirit, okay? This is someone who cannot be tamed, who cannot be controlled, who cannot be told what to do. This is someone who does their own thing, okay? It's like you're in your own lane and you tend to attract people to you because of your energy, because of your vibe. It's very magnetic. As you can see here, there's a wild horse, okay? You are someone, Pisces, who cannot be tamed. You're very wild. And to some people, you can even be unpredictable because you're not like the people that they're used to. Okay, you're not normal in a sense in the best way possible. Okay, you may have this eccentric side to you. Okay, you may be very eccentric is what I'm getting. Um, I don't know why this is coming in Pisces, but the Empress is saying that you tuning into this energy, you tuning into your flow and allowing this to really shine through you is what actually allows you to manifest the things that you want. Okay, this is why for other people, it may be very difficult to manifest or to follow their dreams or their purpose or their calling because they don't allow themselves to be real. They don't allow themselves to be to, to be in flow. Okay, it could be people who want to be liked or accepted or want to be normal, right? Whereas you let this just shine through you and it actually it actually is an advantage to you, Pisces, with the Knight of Wands. Your creativity, your inspiration, your passion is what's bringing some kind of manifestation into life, okay? The Empress is card number three. You are able to manifest from the 5D into the 3D because you're allowing yourself to flow, okay? You're allowing yourself to take those risks, to follow those passions, to be real with who you are. Again, there's nothing fake about you, whereas people would want to be, you know, proper or polite or be normal, you know, or fit in. You're not about that, Pisces. You got your own thing going. In both of these cards, as you can see here, her eyes are closed, meaning she's not paying attention and she's not focused, to, you know, on the outside or what other people are doing. She's doing her own thing. She's in her own lane and that is attracting people to you, Pisces. So I'm getting here this energy of shock, okay? You may shock people. You may really wake people up. You may really challenge them, Pisces, to meet you on a whole nother level. And it's not that that's what you want, is that that's what you're doing. That's where you're vibrating and that's forcing people to, if they want to connect with you, to meet you on your level. Through your passions, through your flow, through your inspirations, you're bringing a dream into reality, the Empress, okay? The Empress is card number three we're coming into march okay so we're in february we're coming into march there's a major manifestation coming into life for you pisces and it's because you followed your heart you followed your spirits this pisces may be what people admire most about you but it may also be what triggers them and also intimidates them about you because they feel like they can't really pin you down they can't really hold you down they can't really figure you out in a sense or keep you around it's like you got it on your own so they don't feel like they have anything that you may want or that you may need that will you know kind of keep you around in a sense you're very wild as you can see here that's the wild horse okay it's like you are untamable you go with the flow you follow your passions you follow your inspiration and again that's what makes you so beautiful and magnetic but it's also what may trigger and intimidate other people Tell me more about this Knight of Wands energy for Pisces. Some people, Pisces, perceive you... Okay, King of Wands in the reverse. Some people may perceive you as... Like, there's something flirty about you, but it's like you're not flirting with anyone. Okay, this is just you. You're very smooth with your words. You're very smooth with your energy. Some people, Pisces, may perceive you as getting a lot of attention. Okay? And they may take that the wrong way. They may perceive you as a player. Okay? Which I'm not seeing that at all to be true. Uh, but the fact that you may get a lot of attention and that your energy or your words, you know, it's like you're very smooth, okay, in the way that you speak. You're very smooth in the way that your energy comes off. And it can also be very intense, very fiery, very passionate. Um, the orange in this card is bringing up sacral chakra energy. 
So a lot of you may have a very strong sacral chakra energy and that is the chakra that allows you to create, okay? Bring dreams to life. That sexual energy is what births uh, businesses, people into life, okay? Again, whether you're birthing a dream into life, a plan, a business into life, or whether you're using that energy to attract things to you, I'm seeing very strong sacral energy and also solar plexus energy. Yellow is solar plexus, orange is sacral. So some people, Pisces, may take that the wrong way. Okay, the fact that you have such a such strong energy, you know, at your base, at your core. Just because you get a lot of attention doesn't mean that you're a player, is what I heard. King of Wands in the reverse. Pisces, some people may view you as you're in it to win it. You're in it to get what it is that you want, what it is that you need. Okay, and you're you're kind of untamable. They may perceive you as flighty. Okay, and I'm not getting that that's the truth of the situation. I'm just getting the fact that you're not going to be bound or tied down to a situation or to a person that is not good for you because at this point in your life at this moment in your life you're following your heart and your spirits okay some of you may have experienced times where you felt stuck where you felt like you were connected to situations environments and people that were toxic that were holding you back and right now you're free and you're coming into the sense of power and freedom and some people may perceive you as again you get a lot of attention uh you have very attractive magnetic energy about you and you have a very strong sacral energy about you and they may be taking that the wrong way king of wands in the reverse tell me more why the king of wands in the reverse for pisces the hermit temperance in the reverse and the fool in the reverse Okay, we got three major arcanas coming in to clarify. Pisces, a lot of you have very strong masculine and feminine energy, okay? The moon represents the feminine, the sun represents the masculine. And it feels like you switch in and out of energies, Pisces, okay? And Pisces is dualistic. Uh, Pisces represents black and white. It's one fish swimming upwards, another fish swimming downwards. So you have very strong both masculine and feminine energy. And you're able to switch in and out of these energies depending on what it is that you want, what it is that you need out of the situation. And some people, Pisces, may perceive that... Um, it's like they don't know they don't they feel like they can't figure you out in a sense okay like one minute you're in your feminine energy the next minute you're in your masculine energy okay one minute you're ready to receive the next minute you're taking action okay it's like you're very good switching in and out of energies you're very dualistic and it's like people can't really pin that down like they can't figure you out in a sense the fool in the reverse someone wanted to take some kind of a chance on you or they wanted to take some kind of action towards you but because you are showing up in this energy of like you got it on your own you're good they feel like they they may not have something that you may want or that you may need so it's like they're hesitant they're apprehensive to take a leap of faith towards you and i don't know again this could be business friendship relationship i don't know what this is the hermits they may also feel like pisces um when you need something you go to the divine, okay? You seek within yourself. You are that inner sage. Like you don't look outside of you for those answers. You don't go to other people. It's like you have a very strong connection to the divine, to your higher self. Tell me more about the hermit for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about the hermit, Holy Spirit? Okay, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Let me go ahead and move these cards so you can see them, Pisces. So the Hermit is clarified by the Four Swords and the Knight of Pentacles in the Upright. Pisces, what I'm getting here is this person knows that you can heal yourself, okay? I just heard self-healing, okay? I don't know if that's a word, but you heal yourself. It's like you may take time to yourself. You may take time in solitude, uh, time to reconnect, time for self-care, self-love, and this is how you heal, okay? You don't go out there to, you know other people it's like you seek within you source what it is that you need from within and you've been on this path for a very long time they feel like they can't change that about you and i don't know why it's coming up as they may want to change this but the fool in the reverse is someone who wants to take a leap of faith they want to take a risk but they're hesitating they're holding themselves back the reason why is because they feel like you don't need them they feel like you don't really you know want or need 
Like you got it figured out on your own. In the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you make it look easy, Pisces. A lot of people may not even understand the depth of what it is that you've had to go through to finally arrive to this place of freedom. Pisces, I'm getting that some of these people may have a very distorted perception of you. They may think that, you know, you got it easy, okay, that you got lucky in a sense. It's like they see you shining here in the Knight of Wands, and they're like, oh, Pisces just has it figured out. Things just come easy to Pisces, but they, don't, they never see the other side of what you've had to go through. They don't see the darkness. They don't see what you had to heal through. They don't see the trauma. They don't see the heartbreak, okay? They only see the tip of the iceberg. They have no idea what it is that you've been through. But it's like, Pisces, you do make it look easy, but they have no idea, okay? They have no idea how deep this goes. They view you in a very superficial way, okay? They're viewing you as the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is someone who has that charisma, okay? They're very charismatic. They have a lot of chemistry. They're very attractive, very magnetic, very free, spirited. And it's like, that's what they're viewing, but they're not seeing what it is that you had to go through, what it is that you had to overcome to finally allow yourself to be free the way that you are, unapologetic, real, authentic. They're only seeing the good side, okay? It's like, if you go on Instagram, people only show the highlights, Okay, that's how they're viewing you. Their, their perception of you is distorted. They have no idea what you had to balance and work through. They have no idea how long you've been on this journey, how many seeds you've been planting. Okay, Some of these people, Pisces, may view you as an overnight success, but they have no idea how long and how, um, how difficult this journey was for you. Because you do it on your own, Pisces. You don't really, you don't really involve many people in your... I don't want to say like problems or difficulties, but you don't really let people in on the hardships, okay? Like this is something that you deal on your own, okay? Like you connect to spirit and you have your own way of overcoming these things. You don't really express this pain. It's like you wouldn't want to burden anybody else with this kind of pain. So this is something that you and divine work through on your own. So it's like, yeah, it's like they're seeing the highlights of your life and they have this distorted perception of you. Like, again, like you make it look easy, but they have no idea that you've been in a four of swords, that you had to heal through this pain and that you've been planting seeds for a very long time to finally come into your manifestation. So again, it's like they perceive you as an overnight success, Pisces, but they have no idea the kind of work that you had to put, you know, in the, the kind of energy that you had to invest to finally arrive, okay, at this empress position at this empress level tell me more about the fool in the reverse what do you want pisces to know about the fool in the reverse so Fool in the Reverse is clarified by the Three of Cups. Pisces, um, this person wants some kind of connection with you. They want some kind of relationship with you, whether this is business, friendship, uh, some kind of relationship. They want to be connected to you. They want to be connected to your energy because they know that you're going places, okay? And they want to invest into this. But it looks like, Pisces, you're already on your way towards a major manifestation. You're already doing your own thing, following your own passions, Three of Cups, they want to reconnect with you. Someone wants to reunite. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Okay, we got three cards coming up. We have the Six of Wands. We got the Two of Wands. Sorry, not the Two of Wands, the Two of Cups. Okay, so we got Two of Cups, Three of Cups coming in. And we got the Five of Wands. Oh, okay, Pisces. Um, someone wants... A victory in this connection with you okay whether this is friendship relationship business partnership or collaboration they want to unite forces with you okay i have no idea who this person is we got the fool could be an aries doesn't necessarily have to be an aries um but they're showing up in this energy of the fool pisces you may be a lot more mature or a lot more wise okay than this person Six of Wands, Two of Cups, 
five of wands Pisces, I'm getting like a, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to say this, but like a love-hate relationship, okay? I'm getting someone that wants to unite forces with you, but at the same time, they feel like they need to compete, okay? Or they feel triggered by your success, Six of Wands. This Five of Wands card, Pisces, I kid you not, has been showing up in like three or four of your readings, okay? In a row. So again, this is the energy of jealousy, envy, competition, chaos, or drama, okay? It's a five. So it's like they want to be in your good graces. They want some kind of connection with you. They want some kind of union with you. Two of cups, three of cups, six of wands. They want victory with you. But at the same time, they're triggered by your success and they're triggered by your attributes, by your qualities. They feel like they need to compete with that. This is a very, this is a very interesting energy. I have no idea who this is for you, Pisces. Two of cups, three of cups, union six of wands they know that you're going places pisces and they know that you're very close to manifestation the energy of success is all around you okay both your sacral and your solar plexus chakra are on fire right now okay so whether you are working on those chakras whether you're being called to heal those chakras activate those chakras but this is how you arrive to your success okay starting at your sacral and then moving up to your solar plexus Six of Wands, you're attaining some kind of major success in your life. And there's this energy about you, Pisces, that is magnetizing and attracting a lot of people to you. And again, yes, King of Wands in the reverse to Knight of Wands, you are attracting a lot of attention. And this person may have a distorted perception of you. Like you may entertain a lot of people, like you may like you may be a flirt, okay? Like they may think that the way that you speak, the reason that you are kind or nice or that your words come out so smooth is that you're flirting with people. It's like, you don't see it that way, okay? It's not your fault that you're so smooth, okay? Um, but they may perceive you that way because the king of wands is in the reverse. Like you're in it to win it. You're here to get what it is that you came for. King of wands in the reverse, they may perceive you that way, Pisces, like you're in it to win it. Okay, like you, you, you're getting what you came for, okay? As you can see in both of these cards, he is holding the wand, okay? Holding the wand and displaying the wand. That's your trophy. That's your achievement. That's your success. And they want to be a part of that, Pisces. But to you, it's like, I see you kind of minding your own business. Like you're not really looking for that. Okay, because you got it on your own and you don't want to be taken off the path. You don't want to be distracted because you may feel Pisces intuitively that they have this energy that is competitive. Okay, or that is, you know, yeah, like toxic competition. Okay, like that friend that will copy your hairstyle or will copy your outfits. And, you know, it's just this energy of trying to do whatever they can do, even playing dirty to get to that fire. Whereas you have already captured that fire. You're already displaying that trophy. It's already yours. It's like they're on their way, but you're already on your way back. Like you already got there and came back. Like you already achieved something. They feel Pisces like there's a distance to you. Like they can't really penetrate. Like they can't really get to you. Like they can't really, they're trying to get close to you. I don't know for what reason, but they feel like you're up on this mountain. Like you're unreachable, you're untouchable. And it's the fact, Pisces, that you are so comfortable within yourself that you don't mind going solo, okay? It actually recharges you. It actually helps you get clear and reconnect and heal. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about the Fool. What do you want, Pisces, to know about the Fool? Pisces, oh my goodness. We, we got the two of cups, we got the three of cups, and now we got the ace of cups. Pisces, this person wants some kind of connection with you, okay? King of swords in the reverse. We got both of these kings in the reverse. They don't care if they have to lie their way, manipulate their way into your life, okay? The king of swords can, in the reverse, it showcases the shadow. King of swords in the reverse can have uh narcissistic tendencies or narcissistic qualities okay um in the shadow it means that they use their knowledge they use their intelligence they use what it is that they know to get their way with people okay every single card has a positive side and a negative side in the upright it showcases the positive side in the reverse it showcases the shadow or the negative side so king of swords in the reverse this may be either a fire sign or an air sign okay aries leo sagittarius um, or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be that sign, but that's what I'm getting here. 
Uh, and then King of Swords in the reverse, manipulation and conceit, showing off their intelligence can indicate a rigidness in thinking, tendencies to over control, irrationality, being cold and calculating. In Shadow, this card can suggest um, using knowledge to take advantage of others. With truthful communication, it's time to help others in a way that is honest rather than manipulative. Find wisdom in your experience and seek to become the success engineer of your life. With confident, clear thinking, you will find your success. So Pisces, this person may want to say something, okay? To be in your good graces, to have some kind of connection with you, okay? Because they realize that you ride solo, you do your own thing, and they may want some kind of a union, some kind of a connection with you, okay? I'm seeing two hands, I'm seeing three people, and I'm seeing some kind of an offer here. I don't want to I don't want to clarify too much to where it gets very specific. I'm trying to keep it general, okay? But whether this is a friendship, a business partnership or relationship, they're romantically interested in you. I have no idea, okay? But we got an ace, we got the two, and we got the three, okay? So they want something with you. They want some kind of connection. But it's like you have that connection to self and you have that connection to the divine, so you're not seeking that in other people. You're not necessarily looking for it. So it's like they're trying to think of ways in which to make an offer that you can accept, okay? Like they're trying to come up with a, a, an irresistible offer that they know that you're going to say yes to. And they may be going about it in a manipulative way. Why do they want a two of cups with Pisces? Why do they want the two of cups with Pisces? Holy Spirit, clarify. The hangman in the reverse. And the justice in the upright. So we got two major arcanas coming in. Go ahead and move the camera here so you can see the cards. Um, they want two of cups because they want justice. They want something balanced. Why is the hangman in the reverse? Seven of wands. Oh, okay, Pisces. This is why, okay? They want this with you. But you are being advised by spirits to protect your energy, to protect your time, and to have strong boundaries. The seven of wands in the reverse talks about a need to protect yourself, okay? To erect energetic boundaries. Okay, Pisces, this is what it is. You are good. They may want you. They may need you, but you are good on your own, okay? So there's nothing here that... I don't want to say it this way, but it's like you may want to enter mutually beneficial relationships, okay? With this fool being in the reverse, it's like you may not see the you may not see the advantage or the benefit to this connection. I don't know why it's coming in that way, okay? I don't know if this is something that you're picking up intuitively, if it's because you faced people in the past that the relationship has turned toxic because they were either envious or jealous of your success, or they were trying to copy you um, or compete with you. Okay, so it's like you're kind of steering clear from these relationships, from these connections, because you finally found something within yourself. You're finally tapping into this freedom and you're manifesting your way through. So it's like you don't want to divert or be distracted or taken off path. So to you, it's like you're good going solo, but they want a connection with you. So seven of one showing up in the reverse to the hangman in the reverse. You've had, Pisces, um, a lot of repetitive lessons around not staying in situations that were harmful to you, that were not bringing anything positive to your life, okay? That were holding you back. The hangman in the reverse can talk about self-sacrificing, putting other people's needs before your own. And the seven of wands in the reverse is a need to have stronger boundaries and to protect yourself and your energy. It, it can also talk about, this is the haters card, okay? By the way, it is the haters card. But it can also talk about having to protect yourself from those people who could be deceiving. Five of wands. Yeah, five of wands to seven of wands in the reverse. You need to protect yourself from these energies, Pisces. And it doesn't mean that you're cutting people off completely and just being, you know, in your own island. No, but it means that you're going to connect on your terms, okay? If you want a relationship or a friendship, you're going to have it on your terms because you no longer want to repeat these lessons that you've had to go through. 24, 24 on the clock. Pisces, a lot of you have your positive karma coming back to you at this time. Okay, justice is card number 11. One plus one is two. In this month of February, you're having a lot of your positive karma coming back to you. And it's balancing out the scales. Anything that was out of balance, anything that was unaligned or, you know, it just felt like it was no longer 
serving you in a sense it's like it's coming back into the light it's coming back into balance and that sword represents truth it represents clarity communication so it's like pisces you're finally finding yourself in a place of power in a place of being at home within yourself okay Unapolo unapologetically being who you are with the knight of wands and not wanting anyone or anything to take you off your course not wanting anyone or anything to create an imbalance within your energy you don't want to be attached to anyone or to anything because you found a sense of freedom within yourself pisces as i'm drinking my tea here i just noticed the message okay and it says here settling is not an option wow <laughs> i just got goosebumps uh, i usually don't read them but it's just like it's drawing my attention in settling is not an option pisces you don't want to have to settle for anything or anyone and it's like you finally found this freedom you finally found your way and it's like you want to be wild right now you don't want to be attached you don't want to be bound you don't want to be restricted in any kind of way so you're being very careful who you associate to who you connect to and what you tell them okay because the seven of wands yes it is the haters card okay i'm gonna go ahead and read you that card because that message comes up for you a lot okay in almost all of your readings um, so challenge, grounding and protecting yourself, movement and growth, creative innovation, remaining ahead, feeling vulnerable, a sign to continue to share your ideas, self-expression, defending yourself, being attacked, being misunderstood, and need to erect energetic boundaries. Um, it says a lack of preparation or giving up. Haters, they'll emerge only after you've made it onto your perch, whipping their wands about and asking you to defend your accomplishments. Sometimes competition emerges as a result of shining brightly in the world. If you're feeling attacked after sharing your magic, it is important to remember that others likely want what you have. So stand up bravely and continue to do your beautiful thing. Mindfully call feelings of love and well-being into your body and create a protective bubble of energy around you. Remain synchronized and aligned with your bright vision and reject any low vibe negative states that others may be pushing you don't have to accept their opinion as truth especially when they are vying for your position check to make sure that you're acting in a way that is aligned with your highest values and when you know you are don't let anyone stop you from achieving your dreams the affirmation is i am deserving of the success and i will bravely shine my light into the world pisces again this is beautiful it feels like you got it good okay you're coming into your own power you're you're in your own flow, okay? You're in your own lane and people want that. They want to connect with you. They want to have access to your energy. But the seven of wands in the reverse, the six of wands in the upright, this is about you, okay? Not to say that you're being selfish, but this is your time, Pisces. In the past, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, in the past, you overgave, Pisces. People took your kindness for weakness. People took advantage of your energy, of what it is that you had to offer, and it left you feeling empty. So it's like everything that you used to give, you know, outwardly towards other people, towards other situations, other relationships, you're funneling that back to you. You're giving that back to yourself and it's helping you manifest something. It's helping you rise. So Pisces, I will say, do what is best for you and have your best interests at mind and at heart, okay? Do not prioritize other people over your own needs is what I'm getting here because this is your time to shine. This is your time for your success and the balance is coming back into your life because you are prioritizing the right things. Pisces, you know what I'm getting? Some people may feel entitled to you. <laughs> I don't know why it's coming in this way, but some people may feel entitled to you, entitled to your time, entitled to your success. And it's like, you're kind of like, I'm over here, you know, I'm flying solo, I'm doing my own thing. It's not we, it's I, I just heard that. Um, and I don't know why it's coming in this way, Pisces, but if it is, the King of Swords in the reverse of the Five of Wands, it's because you intuitively know, Pisces, that people are here for a reason, that they may have hidden agendas, hidden motives, okay? And if you were very selfless and very loving and very giving, you've learned your lesson, Pisces, that you need to do that for you before you can do that for others. For a lot of you Pisces with the Three of Cups, you may have a lot of people from your past trying to come back in, okay? You may be getting messages from old friends or old acquaintances that you used to know, even exes. It's like, hey Pisces, it's been a while. Like, you know, how are you, okay? It's like they want to reconnect. They want to know what you're up to. And it may be very random, Pisces, out of the blue, you may be getting messages from people from the past wanting to reconnect, wanting to know what you're up to. 
But it's like something here within yourself lets you know like, hey, Pisces, you're not, you don't owe them an explanation, okay? No is a full sentence. I just heard that. I don't know for who that is. But the seven of wands in the reverse says stronger boundaries, erect your energetic boundaries, protect yourself, okay? If you are the type Pisces to... It's like you understand people, so it's like you want to feel understood as well. But there may be a lot of people that just can't understand you. They can't meet you at your level, okay? You are a Pisces. You have all 12 zodiac signs within you. And Pisces can understand all the other signs, but not all the other signs can understand a Pisces. So seven of wands in the reverse is like Pisces, no is a full sentence. Don't feel the need to explain yourself. Don't feel the need to justify or excuse your actions, okay? Because a lot of people may be set in their ways, to misunderstand you, okay? To, to misjudge you in a sense. And what I'm getting here, Pisces, with the Knight of Wands is this is sacral chakra energy. Some people may perceive you in a way that is not really who you are. There's not the reality of the situation. Just because you get a lot of attention, just because you have a very magnetic energy about you, doesn't mean that you're a player. Doesn't mean that you are out seeking or, you know, like that's what I'm getting because the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands can be very... Um, it's like that player energy can be very flighty, but that's not the way that it's coming in for you. It's like you use this energy to manifest. You use this energy to be creative. And some people may be set in their ways to misunderstand you or misjudge you. And for some of you, Pisces, because we have all these cups energy, I'm getting Scorpio uh, for some reason. And I'm getting people that may even like people that watched you grow up. So people in your family, old friends, old connections, like they may be set in their ways to perceive you in a certain light to view you in a certain way and it's like you may have felt misunderstood your whole life and it's the times where you keep to yourself is the times where you go into your own zone where you have this moment to yourself where you go into solitude that you feel connected to the real you okay because if you're around a lot of people pisces who are set in their ways to view you a certain way it's like their view of your identity their view of your personality or who you are may make you react a certain kind of way maybe like hey pisces come over come hang out with us or hey come visit but it's like you would rather spend time with yourself because this is where you feel more comfortable okay if you have people who are supportive of you who view you in a positive light it's like you're gonna want to spend time with them so don't feel the need pisces to you know do something just because they want you to okay it's like do you this is your time if there's ever a moment or a time in your life to be selfish, it's right now because you are birthing something. And for a lot of you, it's coming in February and March, okay? The Empress is card number three. March is month number three. And the Heyman is also number 12. One plus two is three. A lot of you, Pisces, you're bringing something into fruition and people don't need to know that, okay? People can't ruin what they don't know about. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, why the seven of wands in the reverse for Pisces? Why the seven of wands in the reverse for Pisces? <clears throat> I'm not haters, Pisces. <laughs> what did I say? I said Scorpio energy, okay? I don't know why I heard Scorpio with the Three of Cups, and now we got the Death and Rebirth in the reverse. This is Scorpio. Pisces, for some of you, you either have an old friend or someone who's known you for a while, or someone in your family that is set in their ways about you. They have a certain view or a certain perspective about you that is not really who you are. This person's a hater, Pisces, is what I heard. They're jealous and envious of your light. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands in the reverse for Pisces. Please clarify. I just heard Scorpio, Pisces, the sun. Yeah, your light irritates them, Pisces. More about the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Pisces, I'm going to say this. Be careful what you're sharing with this person, okay? Like, let's say that you go out one day and you're going to this event or you're going to this class and you're having a good time and you're taking pictures and, you know, it's like you want to share the love. You want to share the, you know, what it is that you're going through. This is a family member. This is a friend. It's like you want to share those memories. Um, it's like, don't, okay? Because this person, instead of being happy for you, Pisces, it's like I'm getting evil eye energy, okay? Like they may... It may trigger some kind of jealousy or envy within them. And for a lot of you, I'm getting this is a family member. So that's sad if that's the case. Uh, but your happiness, your emotional fulfillment, your relationships triggers them. Okay, It triggers something within them, Pisces, where 
they're sending evil eye energy your way and for a lot of you i'm getting that this is either a scorpio or they have strong scorpio placements in their charts or they embody that energy death and rebirth in the reverse okay they're all clarifying the seven of wands in the reverse this is the haters card Pisces, you know what? Whenever you're down, whenever you're sad, okay? And if you tell this person, this person finds joy and comfort in that, okay? I don't know why it's coming in this way, but this feels very, very, very shady. It feels like a feminine energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be a feminine energy, but that's what it feels like. But your joy, your fulfillment, your happiness is what truly brings some kind of envy or jealousy within them, okay? So it's like, don't share those positive moments don't share that that happiness with them which feels counter you know it feels counterintuitive but this is what i'm getting pisces because it's clarifying the haters for some of you this is a water sign scorpio's coming in very strongly so the sun leo ten of cups pisces if you are in a new friendship in a new connection in a new relationship don't share that like don't share that with them Okay, this person likes to see you in pain or in suffering. And I know that sounds very shady, but it's like they are comfortable around that energy. Okay, misery loves company is what I heard. This person may be the type to gossip or complain a lot. Okay. If you look good, Pisces, and you're getting ready and you feel very good about yourself, this person may be the type to slide some comments in there. Like to say, oh, you know, don't wear that because that doesn't look good on your body type. Or, oh, don't wear that because that's not your color. Like they may be the type to just slide some comments in there, okay? If you show them a picture, they may be the type of person to zoom in and look for all the little imperfections. Like that's what I'm getting, okay? They want to shift your own perception of you. And I'm not saying that they're like a bad person, but they may do this unconsciously. Maybe someone did this to them and now they just do this, uh, you know, unconsciously. I'm getting a feminine energy for some reason, okay? Because I'm seeing three women here, okay? I'm seeing another uh, feminine energy coming in. Pisces, if some of you are in a happy relationship or you're, you know, entertaining the possibility of a new friend or a new relationship, don't tell this person, okay? Because this person tries, like, this person tries to live through other people. This person may like gossip and you don't want that kind of energy around your relationship, okay? So just protect Protect what it is that you love from this person. And for some of you, that may be hard because this person may be in your family or it may be a close friend or someone that's known you for a while. But instead of getting happy for you, they're envious, they're jealous, they'll gossip. And for a lot of you, I'm getting feminine energies. This person may have other feminine energies around them where they gossip about you to them. It's like, don't tell them what you're working on. Don't tell them your dreams or your goals. If you're manifesting some things in your life, don't tell them about that. You don't want that outside energy around your manifestations, around your success. Keep it to yourself. Wow, Pisces, I feel like the reading just went in a totally different direction. I don't know why I got pulled into that energy. I don't like it, Pisces, but you are coming into a lot of happiness. You're coming into a lot of success. You're coming into a lot of emotional fulfillment. After a time in your life, Pisces, where you may have just been healing, okay? You may have just been working through your shadows and doing the work. You're finally re-emerging from the Four Swords. You're re-emerging from the coffin, okay? Um, the Four Swords in the original tarot deck is depicted as someone who's in their coffin, shut out completely, like done. Uh, and someone who has to resurrect, come back to life, go through the healing process. And it looks like you've done that work. Now you got the manifestations coming in. Now you got a lot of positivity, happiness, joy, light, okay? Uh, and you don't want anyone to mess with that. You don't want any kind of evil eye energy around you. So be careful, Pisces. Be careful not to share your success or your happiness or joy because it may irritate their demons, okay? It may bring out some jealousy or envy within them. And I don't know why I keep hearing Scorpio, okay? So that just may be for one of you. It may be very specific. Um, yeah, but we got King of Swords in the reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? We got the King of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we got Scorpio energy coming in. Could be any sign, Pisces. Also, be careful what you tell a Libra or an Aquarius or a Gemini, because they may not have your best interests in mind or at heart, okay? When you succeed, it's like they compare their successes to yours. 
I just got like a fatherly energy here or like a brother. I don't know. That's really specific. So I don't know. That might just be for one person. Yeah, but I'm getting like family ties. I'm getting someone who's known you for a while. Some way, somehow, it like it makes them feel insecure or it makes them compare themselves to you when you're shining, when you're doing good. Like they don't celebrate your successes the way that you think they are, okay? They may smile to your face, but they may gossip behind your back. And this is why the seven of wands is in the reverse. These people are set in their ways to misunderstand you, okay? To view anything that you are or anything that you're doing from a negative light. It's like they're always going to want to zoom into those pictures and look for the imperfections, okay? And if there are no imperfections, they're going to make them up. They're going to gossip about it. I really don't like that, Pisces. I, I want to clear that energy, okay? Moving on. Let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards because I don't like that energy. But the good news, Pisces, is Six of Wands. You're coming into a lot of success. The Sun, the happiest card in the entire tarot deck and the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. You are wild, you are free, you're being authentic, and nothing or no one can tame you. Nothing or no one can tell you what to do, Pisces. And this flow, this freedom is bringing in a major manifestation for you. The Empress energy coming in. I'm going to go ahead and pull some Oracle cards, Pisces, and then some advice. And then we're going to wrap this reading up. Because I really don't, like that left a really bad taste in my mouth, Pisces. I have no idea who that person is. But it feels like they're close to you. So either family ties, an old friend, someone who's been keeping tabs on you. Um, it feels like a feminine energy. And the King of Swords in the reverse feels like a masculine energy. So you may have a group of people, Pisces. And for some of you, again, this may be family, okay? They don't celebrate you, Pisces. Um, they're, they're set in their ways to misunderstand you or to take the things that you do the wrong way. I don't know, I don't like it, Pisces, but Spirit is saying that there's a need to keep yourself protected, keep your energy in check, okay? Holy Spirit, what does Pisces need to know at this time? What is your advice for Pisces? Oh my goodness, Pisces, we had this card yesterday. Literally, this card came up yesterday in the same position. This was your first card. You are not alone, okay? You may feel, Pisces, like you gotta watch your back or you don't know who you can trust in this physical reality, but you got the divine on your side, Pisces. Your guides, your higher self, God on your side. And this is the same card that came up yesterday. We got the light coming in as your second card. Let's go ahead and pull in the third card. Okay, we got, oh, Pisces, I just got chills exactly this is what i was getting nine of wands and freedom this is where you're at pisces you're experiencing a new level of freedom okay a new level of autonomy a new level of power within yourself and this is where pisces you need to be very careful who you're allowing into your life because they may they may want to see this bird okay in a cage they may want to capture that bird in a cage and it's like no you are you're flying pisces you are doing your own thing and you are experiencing new levels of freedom after some kind of restriction, after some kind of, yeah, you were, you were having to do the work, Pisces. You were having to roll up your sleeves and heal. And now that you did the work, now you're able to soar through, okay? So freedom coming in with the Knight of Wands, Pisces. I love when that happens because it's just confirming the energy. That's exactly what I was getting with the Knight of Wands. So you are not alone. The light at the end of the tunnel and you're finally reaching free. You are not alone. Never say you are alone, for you are not alone. Your God and your genius is within. As you walk the spiritual path, you will feel isolated at times. However, this is simply one of the many tricks of the ego which believes it is separate, which believes it is a separate entity. It relies on what the world tells you and what the eyes can physically see. The ego is the rational part of our mind that believes that you are only a body, not a spirit inhabiting a body. And because of that, you look like a separate being with an individual life. Beyond the ego, there lies knowledge of your true identity. Your higher self holds the keys to unlock the memory of your divine selfhood. And by connecting to it, it will reveal that you are eternally connected to source energy of all creation and you are never alone. This card comes to remind you that regardless of where you are, there is always a spiritual team besides you throughout your journey, even if you cannot see them. Your team consists of guardian angels, spirit guides, ancestors, and diseased loved ones who wish to support you, uplift you, and guide you. The creator spirit knows that Earth is one of the most difficult schools in the universe that would not allow you to come here without value. 
vast network of resources to use on your mission. Yes, there will be disappointment, hardship, and failures, but your team is here to help you see the light within these dark moments so that you can move forward fearlessly. If you've been feeling lonely without support, call out to your spiritual team since they are more than happy to help and send waves of love your way. If you are unable to sense or feel your spiritual team, then ask your higher self to help you connect since it knows the best method suitable for you. Wow, Pisces, I love this card coming in for you. And again, this is the second time in a row that it shows up in the same position. So a lot of you need to hear that, Pisces. You're not alone. Even if it may look like you are, or if you've been feeling lonely, you got the full support of the universe, of the divine backing you up. And yes, Pisces, I don't know. Some of you may want to just keep to yourself and not connect with others, okay? Some of them may misunderstand, or they may be set in their ways to misunderstand anything you say, anything you do. They may take it the wrong way. They may twist it and flip it, give it their own spin, is what I'm getting here. I'm getting this energy of gossip, okay? Whether it's three feminine energies or three women getting together to gossip about you, okay? I don't know why. I don't like it. It's not in the reverse, but for some reason, it coming up with the five of wands, okay? Toxic competition, envy, king of swords in the reverse, manipulation, death and rebirth in the reverse, and the seven of wands in the reverse, the haters card. That's what I'm getting. Either three women or three feminine energies that get together and gossip, and I'm also getting a masculine energy here. I'm getting strong Libra for some reason. So Libra, Ge uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for some of you. So Pisces, if you feel like you can't rely on these people, if you feel like you can't, you know, lean on them, okay? Lean on the divine. Remember that you're not alone. This is the second time that it comes up. So this is a message coming in for some of you. Um, again, Pisces, I'm trying to keep it as general as possible, but if you would like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. There's also a discount uh, to get your reading done, your first five minutes for a dollar, okay? Um, so I will link all that information down below. For some of you, Pisces, um, I'm going to be creating extended readings for the ones that it resonates because I try not to go as deep in these readings because it just gets very specific. But what I'm getting here, Knight of Wands, you got this Pisces. You don't need anyone or anything. Continue to rely on your intuition. Continue to rely on your connection to the divine. You will get there. Remain free. Remain uh, detached, okay, or disconnected from the energies that are trying to pin you down or hold you back. Okay? Because you got it, Pisces. Continue moving forward. The Empress, you're bringing something into life. And this new level of freedom is going to attract a lot of people to you. People that are going to be envious of that freedom. People that are going to want to, you know, tie you down. Okay? But I'm getting here, Pisces, that some people are just set in their ways to misunderstand you. Or take what it is that you do in, and view it in a negative light. Okay? They just don't get you. They don't understand you, Pisces. I don't know why it's coming in that way. Holy Spirit, any final advice for Pisces? Any final advice for Pisces in regards to this reading? What do you want Pisces to know? Okay, we got the Hierophant coming in as your first card. Okay, Pisces, I love this for you. Your strength and your power comes from above. It comes from the divine. Okay, so don't doubt that, Pisces. It looks like you already have a very strong connection you know, with your higher self, with your guides, with your angels, with God, with the universe, whatever you want to call it. The Hierophant is a very spiritual card, okay? I'm surprised the High Priestess is not out yet, okay? But the message is coming in very strongly, Pisces. This is where your power comes from. This is where your opportunities, this is where your success comes from. It's coming from the divine. It's not coming from these people. So don't feel that because you don't have people that you can count on or rely on that you're alone, okay? Because it's saying, remember where your power comes from. Remember who's had your back all along, okay? The Queen of Swords is coming in. You may have to set some very uh, clear boundaries with some people. You may have to be very truthful and very direct with your communication because some people are just set in their ways to misunderstand you or take anything that you do and flip it, give it a twist and view the things that you do in a negative light, okay? I don't know why it's coming in this way, Pisces, but you may have to sever some ties here. Knight of Cups, you're gonna have a lot of people coming to you and making offers, but it's gonna be up to your own discernment, to your own logic, your own intelligence to accept these offers or to deny these offers. 
Pisces, just because they knock doesn't mean that you have to open, okay? Just because they call doesn't mean you have to answer, okay? So just be careful because a lot of people are going to gravitate towards you, but you got to put your emotions aside, okay? And assess the situation from a factual, logical place. What are you getting from the situation? What is the advantage to this collaboration? Is it mutually beneficial? Or are you perceiving, Pisces, that there may be something underneath the surface that they're not, you know, letting on, okay? But you may already know. So Queen of Swords is saying, be very direct with communication. Be ready to cut some people off and do what is best for you. Hierophant, your power comes from above. So just know that, Pisces. Charisma, passion, spontaneity, pursuing your dreams, fast energy, enthusiasm, courage, taking inspired action, the pursuit of adventure. What have you been dreaming about? The Knight of Wands gallops in and out of your reading with a message of adventure and impulsivity and of bravely pursuing the things that inspire you the most. The passion project you've been tinkering with, the drum circle you've always wanted to join, allow spontaneity into your choices and gift yourself the freedom to shift your reality to match your desires. It's okay to crave new things and to run with the wind when you are feeling charged up about an idea, go with it. Allow this high spirited energy to rush in and incite a wildfire of positive momentum. In shadow, this card counsels against reckless impulsivity and heated outbursts. You don't want all that pent-up creative energy to spontaneously combust. Fan the flames and leave some of this energy for the long haul. Make your passions work for you while whooshing yourself towards success. The affirmation is, in the pursuit of the imagined, I manifest this fire with infectious feelings of inspiration. And again, the Empress coming in, Pisces. This manifestation is coming to life. It's coming into the 3D reality in march okay either in february or march you're birthing this new manifestation this dream ace of wands at the bottom of the deck pisces this is all i have for your reading if you would like to book a personal reading the information is in the description box below blessings take care